Steel trench shields are a great tool that are used on construction and maintenance sites every day. They help contractors and utilities to be more productive, save time and money, and work safely. Before we show you how to assemble and disassemble a steel trench shield, we'd like to review four important safety practices. First, we may be lifting heavy pieces of equipment into the air. We want to utilize tag lines for handling this equipment and make certain that nobody is underneath an unsupported overhead load. Second, we want to make certain that we're using proper rigging for handling this equipment. For example, chains used for tying down a load on a truck are not approved for overhead lifting. All of this rigging needs to be inspected by a qualified person prior to use. Third, we want to make certain the crane or excavator we're utilizing to lift this equipment has sufficient capacity to safely handle the load at the required radius. Finally, we want to watch for potential pinch points. This is particularly important when we're lining up spreaders over spreader collars and inserting spreader pins. When we're ready to assemble the shield, we need to make certain we've got all the right components. This includes two matching sidewall panels. Also, the required number of spreaders that are designed for use with our shield. In this case, we're assembling a shield that requires four spreaders. Some shields may require five spreaders. The correct number of spreader pins and keepers. These spreader pins need to be supplied or approved by the manufacturer of the trench shield. In this case, since we're utilizing a shield with four spreaders, we will need eight spreader pins and eight keepers. The first step for the actual assembly is to start with one sidewall on the ground with the spreader collars facing up. Next, on the ground, roll the spreader over a strap that can be used to lift the spreader with the excavator. Swing the spreader over the spreader collar and slowly lower into place. Watch for pinch points. Once we've got the spreader in place, pin the spreader to the collar. Use the keeper to make certain the pin won't fall out. Repeat the process until all spreaders are in place on the bottom sidewall. The next step is to lift the other sidewall with spreader collars facing down over the opposite sidewall and spreaders. We need to make certain the sidewall is oriented properly relative to the other sidewall. During this lifting process, everybody needs to step back from the panel. We need to utilize tag lines and make certain nobody is under an unsupported overhead load. We pin the spreaders in place and we're ready to rotate the shield to an upright position. Disassembling a steel trench shield is just like assembly, but in reverse. Attach rigging to the top lifting eyes on one sidewall and carefully pull the box onto its side. You can now remove the spreader pins from the top sidewall. With the excavator or crane, pull the top sidewall off the spreaders. Remove the spreader pins from the lower sidewall. We can then remove each of the spreaders. This has been an overview of the assembly and disassembly of a steel trench shield. It's important that a properly trained and authorized competent person is on site at all times and supervises this process. 
assembly and disassembly of a shield needs to be in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. Finally, nobody should enter a trench before all of the shoring equipment is in place and the competent person determines it's safe. Check with the manufacturer or distributor who supplied your equipment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and be safe. This training video is made possible by the generous support of Baker Corp, DP Nikolai, Efficiency Production, National Trench Safety, Pacific Shoring, Speed Shore, Trench Plate Rental, Trench Shore Rentals and Treebore Shoring Rentals, Trench Shoring Company, Trinity Industries, Underground Safety Equipment, and United Rentals.